I've just uh, received my Godox um, Wistra AD200 so I thought I'd just make a quick video just go over some of the features and just tell you uh, my initial thoughts really um, first thing you notice the build quality um, really nice really well made really good quality there's, there's quite a bit of weight to it um, definitely heavier than the uh, the 360 I've got the Fresnel head on so <clears throat> just going on the side of the flash we've got the head release button or click just there so it's easy to change the head and then moving along towards the back we've got the usual um, USB input and uh, 3.5 input <clears throat> you've then got the battery release uh, knob there uh, according to Godox this battery um, should provide you with 400 sorry 500 uh, full flashes love the way that everything's uh, internal no cables, no battery packs uh, so moving to the back of the flash um, we've got the power button at the back of the flash to turn it on and we've got the, the USB micro uh, USB for firmware updates um, operations much the same really where with the wheel uh, you've got your TTTL, your manual and your stroboscopic um, one additional feature it's only available on the on the Fresnel head is a modeling light which is the bottom right hand button um, you can't control the power of it it's just set um, so I wouldn't really call it a modeling light I suppose it's a nice little feature but as I said not really a modeling light um, but you know all in all really nice flash um, not tested the power output yet but you know if it's anything like the other Godox products I'm sure I'll be happy with it I already bought it as a, a quick portable um, strobe <coughs> to use for outdoor portraits really um, something that really surprised me when it came this morning was it also had another package uh, with the barn doors in that I wasn't expecting didn't order these they just seemed to have been thrown in um, really nice quality some kind of alloy the hinges are superb you know, really good quality there they should last a while you also <coughs> get four colored gels and the grid which just pops inside as a line modifier and another nice touch is sort of similar to the uh, mag mod um, the actual barn doors head it's got four little magnets on so when you actually use the color gels they just click into place and are magnetized and obviously you're not going to come off um, fitting the barn doors onto the Fresnel head is really easy, there are just two little clippy bits and there's two little grooves and that just slots on and clicks into place nice and secure, you know, that's not going to come off so in terms of a lighting modifier, you know, lots of scope there for creativity and with the gels and with the grid so all in all, um, really pleased with that so far <coughs> in terms of the bulb, bare bulb um, it's definitely smaller than the uh, 360 not sure if it's smaller or the same size as the 180 um, but again you know really nice light from that and <clears throat> if you've bought a protector uh, for, any of your, for any of the other Godox um, products it fits in really nicely so you know, if you did decide to suck the head off and throw it in your bag, it's not going to get broken. <clears throat> Everything comes in a padded case. Uh, this one seems to have the Godox branding on. Uh, some of the other videos I've seen, um, there's just a lock up of space there. So, obviously, nice little touch. Um, inside, there's room for the flash and all the other attachments. It also comes with um, a light stand adapter. Uh, really simple really there's also um, room for a brolly in there there's no way of tightening the brolly up though so it's just kind of like a spring loaded so whether that would uh, work outside is another matter um, quality is not brilliant it's plastic but you know a nice little touch doesn't cost anything so <clears throat> not bad really um, I think something that's nice is the uh, battery charger there's obviously some uh, information there in terms of how charged the battery is, its percentage, uh, so I've not used it yet but you know, that seems like a nice touch 
So all in all, um, really pleased, well worth the money. Um, I think the fact that it's going to be so portable and uh, you know, I um, won't need to uh, take a battery and a cable with me. Um, I just, you know, I think it's going to be really versatile. Um, so, first portrait shoot this weekend with this particular flash uh, for a family, which I'll stick in a Octa. Um, <clears throat> as I said, it should be really simple to set up and pack down because there's less to take. So I'll let you know how I get on, and uh, I'll try and post some pictures online sometime. Thanks for watching. Any questions, let me know.